Hey, what's going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today with a very significant update here in regards to the Rage store that's coming live today. In addition, um, there is an update actually on the open all orders button. So guys, it does look like I thought this was rolled out this week, but um, only respected to some uh, folks that actually had access to this, but it does look like unfortunately um, there were some issues still. So they're going to disable the feature once again. I know, I know, very disappointing, but um, they're hopefully revising it behind the scenes to make sure that this is going to be working order once it returns. But um, beyond the negativity from that, um, this is probably one of the biggest overhauls that we've seen um, to date, guys, coming to the rate store. So you can see here, um, this is actually coming today. Uh, as you can see, we're going to finally get an opportunity here for Green Goblin Classic Awaken Ability Materials. But um, on top of that, They've actually um, juiced up and, you know, turned over a lot of the opportunities here that's available in the raid store. And it's quickly catapulted to being one of the mo most important and impactful raid st um, stores to come, especially to use your economy in the game. So I do want to quickly touch on that, guys. So as you can see here, both Nova and Black Cat Awaken Ability materials will now um, be sold only for just the normal raid credits. We're going to get Green Goblin Classic Awaken for the Elite ones. Uh, Crimson Raid Orbs are going to be available to purchase with the Elite credits. So yes, uh, you've heard it here, folks. Uh, we're going to be able to farm officially the Gear Tier 19 um, with these Elite credits. And this is going to give us another avenue to work towards obviously uh dark dimension 7 and those gear tier 19 materials and resources uh we got both um we got green goblin classic black cat nova each getting a specific slot as well so it's nice that they're not going to take up a space but uh furthermore the teal raid orb teal elite orb and teal epic orb are now going to be available for raid credit so this is going to elevate another avenue for folks that are working on um gear tier 16 all the way to 18 and um really just getting to the finish line in dark dimension six right this is almost kind of uh feeling like how they treated the orange gear back in the day uh with gear tier 14 15 13 and so forth and now we're just getting this extra avenue here what i really appreciate about this update is they've also given us kind of some um some sneak peeks here of what's to expect um so obviously this is how it's going to look um, we got the elite credits that just uh, looks a little fancier with the yellow trimming and then the regular normal raid credits are, are like a full green right but this is what it's going to look like um in addition to that it does look like they're going to have some specialized shop slots so they're going to be reserved there specifically for some catalysts and for its orange and gear we have purple orange gear still actually in here so something to be mindful of you guys are newer to the game uh, those of you that are mid-game transitioning, still an avenue here that we can utilize. But um, I caution you guys now. I think these raid credits in value have definitely gone up. So hopefully you guys have been doing the same thing as me, which is um, we, when you're not using a resource in the game, uh, this is why we hoard. This is why we save resources in the game because you just never know when such a huge overhaul like this is going to happen and it's going to be sizable. Now I'm, I'm locked and loaded here to spend all this on the gear tier. Uh, 19 materials so definitely something to be mindful of guys what i also like is teal now has four rolls of teal unique so uh these uniques are going to be super super easy to farm as you can see again um giving us a sample here these are the minis um another big bottleneck here in the game but you can see here four pieces for a thousand uh to two thousand depending on what you're looking for so i love the fact that they're just giving us more avenues now even look at this right everybody needs alien spores osmium um, the uh, experimental formula, hammer tech, uh, miasma. Well, guess what? Now you can get four pieces for 5,000 raid credits. That's actually an exceptional value right here, especially since raid credits aren't really used in the game anymore. I think that's pretty sizable. And icing on the cake, they've even went a step further and actually improved the actual orbs themselves, guys. So um, all teal orbs now have orb fragment costs increasing, um, but... Um, they actually 10x the quantity, which is huge. There's a there's a higher drop rate here of teal catalyst uh, for this uh, the trade off here of the origin gear. The raid orbs have been recognized now to have a 100% chance of getting you at least two min two uniques in the center. So before it was just a chance that you can get a unique. Well, guess what? Now it's guaranteed. So uh, even the raid orbs themselves have gotten better, which is amazing because. It's just pushing more of these folks um, to end game, getting us that gear tier 16 to 18 um, coveted escalation, right? So this is pretty big, guys. This is a this is one of the biggest overhauls we've seen, and as you can see right here, just that 
Um, some significant origin gear here for 3,000 pieces. You're getting a hundred. That's just so generous right here. This is just so much easier than us when we are going through and farming crucible and using supply store. So yeah, and then finally they give us a, a screenshot here of what it's going to look like. As you can see, the one to the far right is obviously what I'm interested in, but I just love how uh, both elite and as well as the epic orbs are now available to be uh, to be utilized. So there you guys have it. Um, one of the biggest updates we've seen to a store, uh, even I think yeah, this is even more um, significant than um, than the char the characters that they shifted around in terms of fireability because this is actually useful. This is going to be huge, guys. Uh, Green Goblin Classic materials um, to farm finally, and uh, finally getting another avenue here to farm more gear tier 19 gear. So I'll keep you guys up to date. Uh, I'm, I've been doing my Dark Dimension updates every month, but this is definitely going to elevate things and speed up my progress here uh, to getting my characters um, up, upgraded as soon as possible. But what I even really appreciate is the fact that they've included minis in here. They've included uniques and um, especially the unique situation. This is such a big bottleneck in the game. So I'm glad they've addressed this as well. Do let me know anything in the comments below, guys. Thank you for your time as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.